Don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Oh, without you. Life's gotten colder now without you. Oh, without you. I walk these streets all alone without the warmth to hold on. I guess our lives will now part. I'm without you now. Don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Oh, without you. These nights alone, I miss you so. It's getting cold. I can't forget her. Don't know what I'm gonna do without you. Oh, without you. My life's gotten cold now without you. Oh, without you. Just to sure nothing more. My I just miss her so much. I know, man. It'll take time. She was just so fresh. Jack. So new. So clean. I was excited, remember? Clean is a weird way to describe her, but, um, sure. It felt so good for me. I, I was finally confident. I, I felt like my true self. Yeah, man, I know it's hard, but I just think you have to go back to, like, what makes you feel like you? I mean, you just gotta find yourself again. Like, get, get some hobbies. I mean, you like to read. Check, by the way. They just don't make them like her anymore. She fits so well. The color, the shape, perfect. One of I'm one. I'm sorry. Color? Yeah, Priya's physical features were great, I guess. But, um, check. You know, there's more to- Wait, Priya? Priya. I was talking about my sweater. Your sweater? Yeah, my sweater. What have I been saying this whole time that has anything to do with Priya? I've been talking about my sweater. I wrote a whole song about it this morning. Kind of went into the afternoon a bit, but. The ugly pink sweater? Uh, salmon. Yeah. What about it? Priya still has it. And. I want it back! So you're not even upset about the breakup? The breakup? <laughs> no. I mean, we can just go to the mall and get you a new sweater. You can't just go to the mall and get a new one. It was custom. A custom pink sweater? Salmon. Yeah. And you want it back. I want it back. You want it back. You want it back? I want it back. So what's the plan? You're asking me? I'm looking right at you. Can't you see? Well, let's start with this. Where could it be? Her car, her work, her house maybe? Okay, this might be harder than I thought. Here's what I got. You walk up to the door, as confident as you can. Okay. Combed hair, stylish wear, sophisticated man. Sweet. Then as the door opens, she sees it in your eye. No more fun. Pull out your gun. My sweater or you die! No! This is a joke. This is all for a sweater? It's more than a garment. It makes me feel better. If this was your problem, what would you try to do? Go out and get something that wasn't pink. Hey, screw you. Well, if you're done joking, I've got a real plan. Mine would have worked. Yeah, whatever, man. Well, someone doesn't seem tickled pink. It's salmon. Shut up. I have a plan we need to examine. You ask her to dinner, anywhere you wish, but nowhere too romantic. Fish? Fish? Dress neat, go to meet, take a seat, say something sweet, then get down to business before you even start to eat. Treat it as a deal that would benefit each side. You have something of hers that you're happy to provide, but don't be keen, come off as mean, seem to green, or make a scene. Before she gives it back, maybe ask for a clean? I didn't interrupt you. Yeah, because my plan had charm. Because nothing screams charisma like pulling a firearm. I'm sorry, I thought we were stealing a sweater. What's another crime on top? About 20 years or better. Look enough, you two. Neither plan is gonna work. Can't come across too nice, can't act like a jerk. 
I need a plan with little chance of backfire. So come on, guys, let's go. Rapid fire. Get back together. No romance. Wait for warm weather. Not a chance. Pretend you're gay. Where did that come from? Throwing out ideas. God, we're dumb. Do we think this can be done? How about we try that plan with the gun? We'll take a run. It could be fun. This really, really can't be done. We're gonna need a plan where she has no clue. Where the sweater's gone before she knows. New. So we agree that it's a heist? Yeah. yeah. Cool. True. So we know what to do. You wait for my cue. We can't pull it off with just this crew. You're right, it's too few. Sweater lover plus two. If we're caught, we're all screwed. He's right, she could sue. Well, in lieu of that fact, then what's the logical view? Get a fall guy. Who? What do they even do? He's the one we accrue to help with the whole coup. To make sure we don't bite off more than we chew. But if things fall through... He's the one that we screw. He's the glue. True. And we're ghosts? Boo. Ah! So if we get a fall guy, we need somebody who can really take one for the team. True, we need someone to help us out with the other parts of the heist. You know, like driving the car and picking the locks and other heist stuff. Yeah, like a miscellaneous type. You know what? I think we're in luck. I happen to know a miss a -laneous. Excuse me. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Lanius's Auto Body. Do you have a sloppy carburetor or something? That's a weird adjective to use, but I guess. Are you Miss A. Lanius? Miss A. Lanius? She's out of town, but her husband's around. A Mr. Lanius will do, I, I guess. Sure. So I could take you right over to his door, but I'm busy working on the torque of the um, air intake. Are you even a mechanic, or...? Motor? She's in training. Here's the address. It's the door right at the end, long hallway. You can't miss it. Mr. Lanius will give you a very warm welcome. Thanks. Well, let me know if you ever want some gas, motors, I guess that's the door. I like it. Mr. Lanius? Mr. Lanius was my father's name. You can call me Mr. Lanius. I really like my father's name. We're looking for a driver? You must be looking for my wife, Annette. One heck of a driver. I've seen her give a Chevy a run around once or twice. Diesel, was it? My name's Tom. Right, anyway, she's not here. Do you know anyone else who might be able to help us with a heist? It's gonna be cool. Yeah, we're doing a musical. Oh. I think I know a guy. His name? Mr. Blanius. Your, Your father? father? No. But gosh darn it, does he not have a great name? Come with me. Miscellaneous, uh, we're doing this musical type thing. Uh, you can sing, right? Can I sing? Can you sing? Can I sing? You can sing, right? Can I sing? First there were three, now there are four of us. And I'm Miscellaneous. Oh, oh, I mean, hey, you know what? Okay. Hey, we'll warm up on the yeah, way. Okay. Yeah, we can yeah. sing. Okay. Right, yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like fresh. Okay. It's okay, man. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So. all right. Here's the plan.
I think I should talk to her. What? Listen, over the last 13, 14 minutes of this musical, I've come to realize that it was never about this soft, 50-50, polyester blend, salmon color sweater. It's pink. What I've needed this whole time to move on was you guys, my friends, and Mr. Lanius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were good. We yeah. know what we have to do, right? I guess we do. I'm Mr. Lee! No, no, not that. No, not, we don't have to do the singing no. thing now. Actually, we don't. The song's over. Oh. No, nope. no you okay. missed Sorry. it. Sorry. You missed it. We have to put the sweater back. Let's do it. Here we go. Going back in. I'm Mr. Ling. I'm. I'm miscellaneous. I got a chick miscellany. Oh, I got. I gotta write that down. Hey. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? I've been wanting to reach out for a while now. Honest, I. I really didn't like how things ended, and I didn't want either of us to get as hurt as we did. But when you cut me off, I was so lost and, and broken for so many months. I mean, I'm, I'm still trying to put together the pieces. 
There are things I wanted to say. Things of mine that were left with you that I wanted back. I would do anything for my old life back. But, you know, it's kind of surprising how much you can learn about yourself over a few songs and some good friends. I mean, I feel like I've really learned a lot about myself in the last 10, 15 minutes. And I'm kind of proud of my accomplishments, whether I'm dressed for the occasion or not. I feel like a brand new person. I feel like a brand new version of me. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh, uh, we were doing this whole musical thing. Who's we? Uh, don't worry about it. So you've come all this way just to tell me you've grown a bit? Well, I, I was checking out the auto body shop around the corner, um, Mr. Lanius Auto Body. Oh. Um, I was just in the area and I, I thought I'd check in. Well, I'm glad to see you're doing all right. Thanks. You too. Thanks. Oh, by the way, did you want your sweater? Uh, you know, you left it last time, you know, when we ended things. You know what? Uh, don't worry about it. You can keep it. Actually, I do want it back. Hey guys, do you know where my sweater is? No. Huh. Miscellaneous, I got a chick miscellaneous. My dream car is a Toyota Prius. Skirting the whip, I'm like, damn, you see this? Uh huh. We run that auto body. We do. She give me that outer body. Experience. Timex on one. Casio on the other. Whatever. You late for our date? Oh well. No, that don't bother me. My diamonds ain't diamonds, my Benjamin's climbing. I got a stable drop that I ain't hiding. I ain't disguising, I'm legally driving. Riding these rhymes, I guess that's surprising to you, to me, to all I can see. I'm miscellaneous, cannot you see? 